Ilan pong anak ang plano niyo? Hanggang lima. Hanggang lima. Hi, we are here at Sundance 2017, and we are coming to talk about the movie Motherland. And this is actually a documentary. And congratulations, by the way, on being in Sundance. Oh, thank you. It's very exciting. Yes, it is. It's a thrill, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the director of the, of the documentary. Your name's Ramona. Yes. And you're the editor. Correct. Yes. OK, very cool. <laughs> So why don't you tell everybody a bit about the movie or about the documentary because I know they haven't seen it yet. Okay. Uh, Motherland is about the busiest maternity hospital in the world and it happens to be in the Philippines. So the film is a pure experiential cinema verite immersive experience where we just like uh, drop you into the middle of the action in this really crazy hospital. And... Uh, yeah, and then you discover your characters. You either sink or swim in the hospital, right? Exactly. The only music is the sound of screaming babies. Yeah, that's <laughs> there's no other uh, there's no other music in it. Yeah. Wow. So, what what made what inspired you to create this documentary? Were you there? Had you had you been to this maternity? No. I when I visited it, I was like taken. I mean, I was like it was overwhelming and. It, there are images there that you'll never forget, that I never forgot. I never, like, got it out of my head. And also, everything about it is so sensory, like the sound, the, the smells, you know? I mean, everything. It's overwhelming. And I just wanted to give that experience to, my, uh, to an audience who would otherwise never, ever step foot in a public hospital in an emerging um, economy or a developing country and meet characters they would otherwise not meet and hopefully feel a kinship with them and not feel that they are so much for the other because they are, after all, mothers. So every mother, father, caregiver would, I think, feel something like a connection. Yeah, they could definitely identify with that. I'm a mother, by the way. I have three children. Yeah. And um, so seeing the maternity ward with all of the babies being born and then um, seeing, I think there was like an interview that uh, she did and she said, oh, um, I'm just going to have five kids or something. And that's so uncommon and unheard of here in the United States. So it's a very different mentality over there. Would you like to talk about that too? I th Not so much a different mentality, but it, they lack access to um, birth control and family planning. And there's also very little sex education. So uh, a lack of education and access to um, contraception and family planning is, I think, what hap you know, is, a res is really um, uh, the root, that's a root cause of why people feel like they can have five kids and, and it's okay or it's normal when it isn't. And that's why you see family planning services throughout the film where they're trying to push the IUD and trying to push um, um, other methods of family planning, but there's a lot of uh, misinformation about is it cancer causing, you know? I mean, it, it's a lot of misinformation and um, miseducation about uh, contraception and family planning. That is the problem, so that's a root cause, I think. Right, and then, but obviously to them it's acceptable to have like five children and it's totally, um, it is obviously totally fine if somebody wants to have five children. I think the problem is being able to take care of all of the kids and that's what they're running into. Yeah, and it, it is a problem, but sometimes they're powerless. They have no agency to stop it as well because you know, uh, circumstance and yeah, their their lot in life, I guess. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, also, I wanted to ask you about the editing process on this and putting all of these pieces together. Can you give us a bit of insight about that? Sure. Well, we had about um, 100 hours of footage. Ramona shot in the hospital for um, hundreds of hours, possibly. Was it 100? Yeah, I don't even know. Between I don't 100 know. and 300. I don't, <laughs> you don't want to don't. Um, but she shot in the hospital for about a month. And um, we just worked to um, to call that down. She identified scenes that were pivotal to the film, and then we kind of built around that and those characters that we wanted to follow through the story to to the end. And you see them actually go home 
with their newborns. It's is a real treat to be able to actually work with this really verite footage, which is so rare yeah. and so personal. Yeah. And how many births do you think you witnessed while you were there for that month? Oh, my God, a lot, a lot. I mean, uh, a ton, actually. But what's amazing about witnessing a birth is every time you witness a birth, it's still very breathtaking. You know, it takes your breath away when you see that baby come out because it's hopeful, right? Yes. That is a sign of hope. And every time my, uh, my DP, my um, uh, cinematographer and I would like look at each other because we'd get emotional yeah. because to, uh, seeing births even if we filmed it over and over and over again it never got old you know it's just ever new every time that birth you know that baby emerged yes yeah, so we're talking about a very very incredible experience I mean uh, as a mom like I we all burst into tears when when my babies were born so right. I can only imagine seeing that so much it's like wow you're overwhelmed by the creation of humanity really absolutely because it is a, yeah absolutely it's a creation of life and in that baby's all the hope and also because it, the context is that is poverty right mm -hmm. so you're hoping that they survive you're hoping that they flourish you're hoping that they get out of poverty so within that context all that hope is even more overwhelming I think that's amazing. And I think that's obviously why everybody wants to have it here at Sundance and to be a part of this festival. Congratulations and, and definitely go and check out the film Motherland and see what they're talking about. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's been wonderful talking with you. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Yeah, thank you.